comparing the magnitudes of stars. We're going to look at how to tackle a particular type of exam question which comes up just about every year on the GCSE Astronomy. Uh, two stars, Alpha and Beta, have apparent magnitudes of minus 0.2 and plus 2.8 respectively. By how many times does star Alpha appear brighter than star Beta? And hopefully by the end of this PowerPoint you'll be able to answer that. So, what exactly does magnitude mean? Well, apparent magnitude is how bright a star appears to be. Here are some of the stars in Orion. Um, hopefully you'll notice that the brightest stars have m equals and then a small number. And then the dimmer stars, m equals and then a, a larger number. If you look at Rigel, m equals 0.18, uh, which is Alpha Orionis. And then if we look at something like Mayissa here, m equals 3.4. And that tells me that this star is a lot dimmer than Rigel. So the smaller the number is, the brighter the star is. Where do these numbers come from? Well, there was a, a Greek bloke called Hipparchus. First came up with a system for measuring the apparent brightness of stars. And what Hipparchus said was that the brightest stars in the sky have a magnitude of 1, and then the dimmest stars, the ones that you could only just see, have a magnitude of 6. And so that was his scale from m equals 1, which is the brightest stars in the sky, to m equals 6, which are the ones that were only just visible. The problem is, however, that if you compare m equals 1 and m equals 6, well, m equals 1 isn't 6 times brighter, it's actually 100 times brighter. m equals 1 is actually 100 times brighter than m equals 6. So, if m equals 1 is 100 times brighter than m equals 6, then what's the difference in brightness between m equals 1 and m equals 2? In other words, if there's one order of magnitude between the brightnesses, how many times brighter is star 1 compared with star 2? And the answer is 2.51, which is known as Pogson's ratio after this guy here. Now why? Because if magnitude 5 is 2.51 times brighter than 6, and then magnitude 4 is 2.51 times brighter than 5, and magnitude 3 is 2.51 times brighter than 4, and magnitude 2 is 2.51 times brighter than 3, and magnitude 1 is 2.51 times brighter than magnitude 2. If we multiply all these 2.51s together, we get 100. In other words, magnitude 1 is a hundred times brighter than magnitude 6. So a difference in one order of magnitude is 2.51 times brighter. Let's have a look at a few examples. So how many times brighter is magnitude 1 compared with magnitude 2? And the answer is 2.51 because it's one order of magnitude difference. How many times brighter is magnitude 3 compared with magnitude 4? Again, it's 2.51 times brighter. How many times brighter is magnitude 2 compared with magnitude 4? Well, now, there are two orders of magnitude, we say. So the answer is going to be 2.51 times 2.51, which on a calculator works out at... 6.3 times brighter. How many times brighter is magnitude 3 compared with magnitude 6? Well here we have a difference of three orders of magnitude so the answer is going to be 2.51 times 2.51 times 2.51 which is 15.8 
times brighter. And then lastly, if we have a star which is magnitude minus 0.2 and another which has a magnitude of 2.8, what is the difference in brightness? Well, the, the difference in the magnitudes again is 3. So, there you go, 2.51 times 2.51 times 2.51 is 15.8 times brighter. Let's have a look at the exam question again. Two stars, Alpha and Beta, have apparent magnitudes of minus 0 0.2 and plus 2.8. How many times brighter does star Alpha appear? And it's three orders of magnitude difference, so it's 15.8 times brighter.